falling down, cool love. ever, never going back, touch book. I I got ghosts in my soul, see my backbone. I got ghosts in my soul, see my Hello, YouTube. I'm back again with another video. I'm going to be talking about this incident that took place in. Uh, I would say it took place on April 2nd, 2022, where a 40 year old man, but it seems like based on the security footage, it took place uh, November 3rd, 2021. But getting straight to the point, a 40 year old man literally punches his 77 year old uh, father while he's living with them. And how I know it has been confirmed in the eight, like about their ages in the video, which was said by the father, which the police are, are t talking to right now. Um, it is actually pathetic and it's up to that person if they want to live with their parents i'm not the one to, to judge it, there could be several reasons it could be due to like economy or jobs not willing to hire or they're trying to help uh pay their parents bills so at the same time i don't see anything wrong with family members supporting one another whether it's the parents helping the, the, their son even if they grow up while even while they're older but at the same time it's like there's so many things that factor as to why that may be the case as to why people are very quick to judge. So I'm not the type of person to like criticize some, someone for living with their family. Because it's like, it's like if, if, if you're a parent to like, wouldn't, wouldn't you want, wouldn't you want them to take a look after their kids? Now, of course, uh, especially not when they're grown, that way they can, at least that way, uh, when, the, when their kids are like adults, they can be able to make uh, decisions for themselves that's that's up to them but it's like at the same time you still have to respect your parents but just getting straight to the point i don't want to waste time with this whole like crowding around like scurrying walking whatever but we're gonna get straight to the uh situation here um the police do uh approach the man that attacked his uh father and by looking at the video i don't want to bring up parenting but it could be believe it could be I don't want to say whether it's confirmed. Some people believe that the mother probably enables the son to stay, and then why he could be out of shape, why he's lazy, and why he refuses to get out of the house. But here he's just absolute. He's he's just an absolute bomb at this point. He's literally in the house just simply watching television, and then not only that, he's trying to like uh, dispute with the police officers and refusing to. I apologize, my throat. He's refusing to comply with law enforcement. They ask him if he could leave, and it could be confirmed uh, based on the, the complaint. And if the father was able to prove that he was injured, they will be able to do a, like a, an a examination to confirm whether his son is guilty. And I, I truly believe he is. Look at his attitude. Look at the way he's acting. Yeah, he's acting, and this is where it really irritates me. He's acting like he owns the place. Just because he's like grown, mature. I wouldn't say mature. No, he's not a real man. But it's like, it's crazy how again it, I, I bring this up a lot. How when you have these kids, that they just forget the fact that these parents literally put a roof over their head. They're the ones that raised them and made and kept them alive. And literally, this this is what they get in return. And here. And I, and I don't, I don't want to say that, and normally in my videos, yes, I would say that the parents don't really discipline their kids enough. But I think in this case, I think the guy is just spoiled. It's sad seeing a spoiled grown man not only fighting with the parents, but fighting with law enforcement and getting in serious amount of trouble. And look, look how he continues. 
he should he really needs to like keep his ego in check and this is how it escalates and um to be fair he, he most likely deserves it normally i'm not the type to say whether someone deserves to be uh physically pummeled by law enforcement but if, if if you don't act accordingly and you decide to be immature and you're and you're being very hostile you're you're ba you're you're basically asking for trouble and you refuse to like be able to like be civilized and try to treat people with respect that, again that's very important you guys Still to this day, he doesn't want, and, and I'm, I'm fully aware why he doesn't want to around, because they don't want, he doesn't want them to handcuff him. So, people shouldn't ask as to why he's fighting with the police. But at the end of the day, it's like, the more you fight, there's really no point. At that point, if they already have you, and you're on the ground, you might as well just like give up, just turn yourself in, because it, you're just adding more charges. You're basically going to add charges to battery to a police officer, resisting arrest. Just, like, just calculate how many years that might add up to. So sometimes, yes, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not all for law enforcement, but I do agree sometimes it's better to just work with the police and just abide by the rules and just follow, follow them. Because you're not in control of the situation whatsoever. And humanely enough, he's doing this in front of his ham family lets you know just like out of how out of control this person is not only towards his family but has no respect for uh, like um, the law as well as uh, society as it is and even though we know even though fully where society is doomed it, it's, it's 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 sad that's it's how it's sad how people decide to escalate it because of their own ego like if people were to just keep their ego in check and realize what's in front of them and how bad it would turn out if, if they continue to uh, misbehave if they can just comply for once at least just get it over with and then you realize you're not just just you realize how much time you're not losing how much time you, you wouldn't waste but i just never understood this mentality the moment you're caught you're done that's it and I'm talking about involving law enforcement so your best bet is just to like comply and just go on, just just follow them let them put you into the police car take a seat and just accept accept your consequences because that that's what it is for this man it should it should never escalate to this point you guys but who knows what what trigger what, what like like what made this man snap and what might have triggered him again probably just like he feels entitled um maybe this is just some massive entitlement that he's never been in trouble for and it's the first time and he can't go to jail because of how much it could ruin his entire life which if, if you think about it he's lived pretty long if you ask me 40 years when he could be doing more than just sitting in the house leeching off his family but this is the situation. He, this is the situation he literally put himself, put, put himself in, and he has n nobody but to blame himself. So whatever happens to him at this point, it's all on him. And I think it's better. Like he, he needs to have second thoughts how he treats other people, because it might it might be a lot worse for him. So I think he should just take he should just take anybody's uh, advice. For those who actually know how to like um, act civilized, give him like public advice, um, or maybe the inmates will. Pretty sure the inmates will do, will do that for him. Um, and the general population, let him be fully aware who's boss and that you can't decide for yourself. And I'm pretty sure here they're checking to see where his bruising is. This is the 77 year old man that the son punched and they're checking for any type of injuries just to confirm whether um, how how it might have occurred or how the injury uh, seems so I think they're just asking for any like uh, people who might have been witnesses those who might have noticed the fight 
so they can get uh, as much evidence as they can to possibly throw the book at him at the same time which they should but maybe again I feel like if someone was like again if someone had the power if they had the capability and someone could, who could outright po a power overpower that dude then I feel like he would have no choice but to act civilized but to act a certain way and then and not realize that he can't get away with disrespecting anybody you know make him change his whole life he had so many chances you guys but it seems like you can't it seems a little too little too late especially considering age when you have that much time to pretty much like fix fix yourself sort your life out work on your personality and this is this is what you amount to and it leads to uh, all sorts of like backlash at the end and then you, you become a very troubled person to the point that um, you're gonna end up getting or putting yourself having having yourself in handcuffs or someone might end up being the brakes out of you but overall I feel like I said enough you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video be sure to check for more upcoming content later in the future be sure to check your notifications comment like subscribe thank you